John chapter number 11. It's for me, passage of scripture that I want to share with you here today. Uh, one of the things that the enemy is messing with the children of God with is our ability to wait on God. He gets us in a hurry and causes us to begin to rush to do things. And uh, how many are witness here tonight uh, that you can say that there's been some things in your life you rushed to do that you wish you would have taken your time? Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. There don't have to be a lot of us in here to say amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. And it had to be taken out time. Yes, sir. Amen. amen. Things would have probably worked out a little differently for us. Yes, sir. Come on, say amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to talk about that from the perspective of John chapter number 11. Amen. Uh, my reading will commence at verse number 1. Amen. And I just need you to follow down and follow along with me. I may jump from one place to another, but I'll let you know where I'm jumping to. But I'm going to start at verse number one. If you haven't, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. If you can't stand to your feet, please stand to your feet out of reverence of God's word. And I'll read this word for you. Beginning at verse number one, it says, Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and his sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that he said, uh, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. I want you all to hear that real good. Amen. But uh, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after, after that, said he to his disciples, let us go unto Judea. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and thou goest thither again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If a man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of the world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. These things said he after that, he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go, that I may wake him out of sleep. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death. But they thought he had spoken of taking rest in sleep. Now I want you to jump over, if you will, amen, uh, to verse number uh, 21. It says, Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, who, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. Yes, sir. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I'm going to stop it right there and we'll talk about the rest. Father, we thank you for your word. Pray that you have your way. Anoint you from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Give me what it say to you people. That we may be blessed, God, by your word. Not blessed by personality. Not blessed by charisma. But Lord, blessed by the power and anointing of your word. Have yes, you made Lord. usually for your glory, God, not for the glory of another. Amen. We thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. And everybody that loves the Lord said amen. 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 Uh, I'll give you a subject in a little You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'll give you a subject uh, in a little while. Let me right. walk through the scripture and right. see what thus saith the Lord. Amen. I love this scripture because it speaks to us about how God sees things versus how we see things. Amen. Now, this is a big difference. Go ahead. Because Isaiah told us that the Lord spoke through the prophet and said, uh, your ways are not my ways, say the Lord. Amen. As far as the heavens are from the earth, are your ways from my ways. Yes, sir. So we must come to the quick understanding that God's ways are not like ours. Amen. And how he does things, amen, may not always fit into the scope of our reality. 
We may look at it and say, I can't see how that's going to work. But how many know God can do the impossible? Can I get any witness in here? Amen. He can do the impossible. I love this biblical account because it is so real. It says that Jesus, amen, uh, had some friends. Amen. And how many know friends don't always understand you? Amen. <laughs> you can have friends, but they don't mean they always understand you. He had some friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Amen. They resided in a place called Bethany. The Bible says that Jesus was in another part of, of the continent, if you will. Amen. But he had received word that Lazarus, his friend. Matter of fact, the letter when he received it said, Lazarus, the one whom thou lovest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. Is sick. Amen. And I love it because Jesus read the letter and said, okay, I'll take that into consideration. But he kept doing what he was doing. As a matter of fact, he decided to take a trip two days further away from where he was. And so the Bible says that he did receive another letter that now Lazarus was dead. But if you would notice the scripture, you would notice that Jesus already knew he was dead. Because he said, listen, I guess it's almost time for me to go because our friend is sleeping. Here it is again how the Lord sees things differently than we do. Yeah. Everybody said he was dead, but Jesus said he's just sleeping. Praise the Lord. Look at somebody and tell them it's not as bad as you think. Bad. It might be bad, but it's not as bad as you think. Yeah, they yeah. said he was dead, but Jesus said he sleep. Yeah. And I've got to go and wake him out of his sleep. And the Bible says, are y'all with me here? I'm getting my way through here. Amen. And the Bible says, the Bible says, amen, that Jesus started making his way from where he was to Bethany. Now notice that the sisters were in the house, Mary and Martha. Uh, the Bible says they were in the house, amen, because their brother had died and they've already had uh, the funeral service, if you will, and it was already four days since he's been in the grave. They were in the house, and if you know anything about the Jewish Amen. Uh, religion or their belief system. Whenever a loved one dies, they do something called sitting shiva, which means for seven days they do not do what they normally do. They stay in the house, they don't come out of the house, they don't go to work, they don't do anything, they don't go to the mall, y'all ain't saying nothing. They don't go to the store, they don't they stay in the house. Because this is their way of honoring the life of their loved one that passed. Well. So it was not strange for Mary and Martha to be in the house when Jesus came. But check this out. The Bible said that Martha saw Jesus coming and she decided to break Jewish law. Not all. She said, oh, here he come now. Now, Mary stayed in the house, but Martha got a little indignant and ran out of the house, broke the shiver. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The Jewish law broke it just to run out to Jesus and get in his face. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And when, can I take my jacket off? And when, and when, I got it, don't worry about it, Ella. Amen. And when, and when, and when. When she got to Jesus, look at what she said. She said, oh, you finally decided to show up. Now, come on, y'all. How many of us feel the same way sometimes when we're waiting on the Lord and he don't come when we want him to come, but then he shows up after a while? How many feel the same way every now and then? Oh, here comes the Lord. He finally showed up. Here he is four days later. Here comes Martha saying, if you would have been here. Yeah. Oh God, I thank you. Uh, if you would have been here, my brother would not have died. Now mind you, the conversation that Jesus had with his disciples, he said that the man's not dead, he's sleep. But he says, I got to go wake him up because God's going to get some glory out of this thing. Yes, Jesus. I know. Fact, look at somebody and tell them that's what the subject is. Look at them and tell them God's going to get some glory out of this thing. That's it. He's going to get some glory out. Some kind of a way I'm going to 
praise God, even though it don't look good right now, God is going to get some glory. Now, when he got the mark, the mark said he wouldn't have died. He's already been dead for four days. Now, Jesus spoke to her because she came to kill with her religious self, trying to make it seem as if she was even more religious or spiritual than Jesus. 